Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is my Flash episode one review. Um, it is a couple days later because I was going to film it yesterday, but then life kind of hit me hard, so I didn't get the chance to do it yesterday. But I'll do. It. I'm doing it today. So Flash episode one. It was really good. I did miss like the first like two three minutes of it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did. So, yeah. But, it was really good. I don't remember if Top was in the end of last season, or if this is just something new that they've thrown in this episode. But it was kind of nice to see her again. It's kind of, you know, her and Cecile had a little moment. Um... And I'm interested to see if we get to see more of like maybe Cecile's powers changing because Top Top's power kind of started how Cecile's was, so you know that's fun. Um, we also get to see the Council of Wells. Um, we also do not get to see Caitlyn, Raph, Ralph, Sue, or Cisco, or Camille, or captain saying this episode um which is fine um but we kind of do get his the council of wells kind of telling um the current wells like hey here's the thing this is what you need to do to give very his feedback and it's basically saying hey you need to die <laughs> And so he tries to figure out a different way, and they attempt it, and then it kind of goes wrong. All the wells is kind of get pushed into Barry, and we kind of see like cameos of different wells as we see H.R. Wells, Sherlock Wells, or Sherlock Wells, um, another wells that I don't think we've seen. Um, And then Earth 2 Wells. I think we're all the ones we saw um, in Barry. So then we, then Wells, this Wells is kind of like, hey, I screwed up. I'm supposed to die. We've tried it, but I have to die. It's not going to work. So he's kind of, you know, he had to touch something so it can start siphoning the power off of him. And while he does that, he kind of connects, I guess, with all the other Wellses. And so we kind of see, you know, a whole, a bunch of different Wellses' goodbyes. Um, I think we touched on every single Wells that we've had, that has had a big part in The Flash. Um, so yeah, I mean, it um, that almost made me cry because I love Wells and I love like every like two or so seasons giving a new Wells and you know the other thing of oh here's another one here's another one here's another one how are you different from this one you know like the what the heck is going on um aspect of everything um so yeah, that did make me cry, especially because right as Barry got his feedback, he had to go save something and then come back and he kind of, you know, the other two members were kind of there like, I wouldn't say breaking down, but they were kind of like having a moment of, he's gone, he's gone, like great, you have your feedback, but he's gone. I don't think we ever really got a, hey, Barry had his feedback moment, which honestly I don't really care at that episode because it was a big saying goodbye to Wells episode um and so we kind of see um at the end kind of Barry and the other two saying like hey I'll call Cisco and Caitlin and make sure they know what's going on and Cisco will probably want to come back um for you know saying goodbye and whatever um 
So I'm interested to see how they kind of fill that hole because it is a hole and it is a big hole. Um, and I think like basically every person that's, you know, a fan of The Flash will feel that because since day one, there has been wells. Um, there has probably only been a few episodes throughout the whole show that hasn't has wells. And especially because this season got, the show got renewed, I'm 90% sure, um, got renewed for another season. So, I mean, if it was the last season, I get why they kind of did that to start saying goodbye. But I'm 90% sure there's another season coming. So, I don't know. I'm interested in that. But it was very, and we got to see Iris kind of see different versions of herself um, from different um, points in time and she realized that it was just mirrors and Eva playing tricks on her and um, she kind of got you know and Iris realized that she's like mm, it's because I'm getting close to something so she kind of starts realizing that but we don't get to see what how she's getting close but yeah but then Eva that ending ooh, Eva's like fuck it I'm gonna watch this thing that my husband left for me and so she watched it and she realized that the Eva that we know and the Eva that we've seen for the past like half of a season is the mirror version of of um Eva because the real Eva died that night of the part part we'll call the accelerator words and so she's kind of realizing like fuck I screwed up I'm the mirror version and we just kind of see her realizing that I don't think that's going to change a damn thing um, other than her motives I mean her motives were because husband took everything from her and didn't come searching for her so her motives definitely are gonna change so i'm interested in how that goes tell me what you guys think in the comments below and also tell me your thoughts and feelings and follow me on all my social medias anyways peace out